recall that we were inventing numbers and this is one of the reasons we are excited to study real analysis and as an example we talked about the banker's formula the compound interest formula which gives you the amount when you invest p dollars or rupees into a bank with a rate of interest r and number of times compounded n this is the formula for t years of investment so mathematicians took this formula they may they put 1 rupee as their investment amount r equals to 100% and t as one year and the formula converted into 1 plus 1 over n raised to n and we experimented with some values of this sequence and we saw and if you have not seen the previous video now would be a great time to go back to it we saw that for n equals to 1 this is 1 plus 1 by 1 raised to 1 which is 2 for n equals to 2 it is 1 plus 1 by 2 raised to 2 that's 2.25 and for n equals to 3 it's 1 plus 1 over 3 raised to 3 that's 2.37 approximately and so on so this is an increasing sequence the values of the terms of this sequence increases as you increase n so this is something that we found uh, by experiment it's the definite it's by definition a monotonically increasing sequence it's a sequence that continuously increases in value as you increase the input value but this was an experimental observation we want to prove this rigorously we want to rigorously show that indeed this is a monotonically increasing sequence and this will lead us to a very beautiful uh, application of a theorem from classical inequalities and some of you may know about this one it's called the arithmetic mean geometric mean inequality and what is that well arithmetic mean is simply the average of n numbers so if you have n numbers a1 a2 everything positive by the way a n then their arithmetic mean is simply their sum divided by n the geometric mean is the product of these n things so you multiply all of these n numbers and you raise it to the power 1 over n and it's a very established fact in classical inequality theory that the arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to geometric mean you can watch some of our other lectures for this result a proof of this result can be found in any uh, inequality book so one reference is a very beautiful book by little mathematical library uh, published in Soviet Union mathematical library there is a book on inequalities it's a very concise but beautiful exposition of these ideas all right coming back to uh, this uh, arithmetic mean geometric mean inequality we want to apply this inequality to prove that indeed this is a monotonically increasing sequence 1 plus 1 by n raised to n is a monotonically increasing sequence how do how will we do that well uh, so let's first figure out what exactly we are trying to show let's go to a new board so what is it that we are trying to show so our goal is to show that 1 plus 1 by n raised to n is monotonic monotonically increasing what does that mean that means that if in in place of n if you put n plus 1 you will get a larger number so if you replace n by n plus 1 then you will get something larger 
So let's write that. So we want to show that this, if I replace n by n plus 1, I will get something larger than what I had. So this is our goal. This is what we want to show. And there is a very interesting application of uh, arithmetic mean geometric mean inequality which will solve this uh, problem. So I, I, why don't you pause the video and give it a try yourself. Try to prove that this is true. And then maybe come back to this discussion one more time. All right, so let's try to show that this is true. Uh, what we will do is we will take n copies of 1 plus 1 over n. So each of these copies are our, think of them as one term. So there are n copies of these. And then there is a 1. So in total, so there are n of these. 1 plus 1 over n's and then there is one of them and we will apply the AMGM inequalities on these n plus 1 things objects so let's apply AMGM inequality on these n plus 1 objects and let's see what we get as I said it's a very clever application of AMGM so we will be adding all of these up so n times 1 plus 1 over n because there are n of these terms so if you add n of the same things you'll get n times that thing plus 1 so this is the sum of all the n plus 1 things and you take the average of them so you divide by n plus 1 that is greater than so this is the arithmetic mean portion this is the arithmetic mean that is greater than or equal to the geometric mean so you can multiply 1 plus 1 over n times 1 plus 1 over n you can multiply n of these things times 1 right so that those are the things at the, which are at the top so you can multiply all of these things and raise it to the power 1 over n plus 1 because that many things are getting multiplied that's the geometric mean in fact you can write strictly greater than because all the terms are not equal the only time only place where equality holds in AMGM inequality so equality holds, let me write that here, equality holds if a1 is equal to a2 is equal to a3. So if everything is equal, only then both sides are equal in this inequality. Otherwise the left hand side is strictly greater than the right hand side. That's part of the theorem. So here of course everything is not uh, everything is not equal so n of them are equal but there is one extra one which is certainly not equal with all of these hence what we can say is strict inequality will hold so maybe I can write just this okay so what do we have here we have let's, let's let's perform this multiplication n times 1 is n plus n times 1 over n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 this is greater than 1 plus 1 over n raised to n because you are multiplying n of these n of these are getting multiplied raised to 1 over n plus 1 this 1 over n plus 1 is already here. It's the geometric mean, remember, of n plus 1 things. This 1 just doesn't get written every time. So multiplying by 1 doesn't change anything. All right, so we have this implies n plus 1, this n n cancels, plus 1 divided by n plus 1 is greater than 1 plus 1 over n 
raised to n raised to the power 1 over n plus 1. But realize that this left hand side is just so this n so you can split this up so n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus 1 over n plus 1. So this is simply 1 plus 1 over n plus 1 right. So maybe I can write that one more step. And we have the final result, which is 1 plus, so if you raise both sides to the power n plus 1, you will get the final result. So this is actually the much desired inequality and it fulfills our goal perfectly. It uh, tells you that this is a monotonic sequence. And it also tells you that classical inequality theory has um, contributed so much in the field of real analysis. In fact, one of the reasons you should study inequalities rigorously because they lead to real analysis directly. And uh, once we have proven that the sequence is monotonically increasing, if we can show it is bounded, then by completeness axiom, we will be able to declare the existence of E, which is part of our business of inventing numbers. Uh, all right, uh, let's uh, meet again in the next discussion on the sequence of stories in real analysis and hope you are doing great mathematics in the meantime.